Jason doing any more work, okay? Gail takes Max to school and then Lily to the childminders. While she's out, I go and get Nick's van. We take the body to the wasteland. We weigh it down and then dump it in the canal. Once they've gone to school. Yeah. It's empty. Who's put that back in there? It's OK. What is the point in putting away an empty box? Look, it's fine, all right? The cab toast. Come here. Just be strong, all right? All right, mate. You got your football boots. Do you want some toast? Yeah, well, before that, you just go give Gail a shout because she's taking you to school today. She's not upstairs. Yes, she is. I went in a room. She's not there. Well, she was up there a minute ago. Where is she? <laughs> just stay there, Max. There! There! What? A huge spider there! Look! Oh, spider. Don't kill it. What? It's bad luck to kill living creatures. And be careful of its little legs. Can I see the spider? No. No, come on out. It's all dusty in here. Y you can set it free in the garden. <clears throat> we need to talk. I'll be finished in two minutes. I'm going home. Going home? I'll pack my bags. I, I don't understand. I, I th thought we... Oh. No, I still like you. I still want to keep seeing you. Oh, good. It's just... Well, I don't think we should be living together. You know, not after last night. It just doesn't seem right. I don't want people to misunderstand. No. No, no, of course not. It's all very new to me, this. Me too. Can we take it slowly, then? Oh, as slow as you like. I, I could give you a lift home. No rush. No, no rush. My head feels like there's a brass band playing inside it. <clears throat> you were so out of it last night. I was a bit tipsy. Remember what happened? Yes. There was a party. Um, and, um... And? I can't remember. Well, I'll never forget what happened last night for as long as I live. We... Didn't what? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. What's all that about? Do you think she slept together? Well, we didn't. I know you didn't. Oh, no, that'd be... Uh, 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 careful. That's my mum. That'd be very embarrassing for all of us. Good save. <laughs> that is something out of a country and western song. I lost my mum. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have got caught kissing your ex-husband. I wouldn't have been caught, would I? I wouldn't have been for blabbermouth, am I? Have you not been to bed at all last night? I can't sleep without Tim. Where do you think he went? I don't know, Mum. But I'm sure wherever he is, he probably is feeling the exact same as you. Do you think? Yes, I do. That doesn't mean you're not going to have to do some serious groveling. Oh, I will. I'm gonna win back my man. Are you all right? Go away. Sorry. So if you just suspend all work uh, for today. Oh, Jason, this is my mum. All right, there's no point you doing anything in the garage while she's dithering over her own suite, is there? <laughs> ah! So this is where you're hiding? Leave me alone. Is everything OK? What's going on? It's not Callum, is it? Your daughter broke his favourite mug. That's not exactly my favourite mug. I thought you said it was your favourite. Why don't you just leave me alone? I don't even care about your stupid mug. It's got into her. Nick, can I borrow your van today? Yeah, keys are in the bistro. All right, great. Have a word with your sister, will you? You won't, why? Because she's a moody cow. Oh! I thought it was to do with Callum. Uh, yeah, I I'll do that now, actually. Can I pick the keys up in about five minutes? <laughs> you, you really need to watch where you're going. 
Sorry, it just sometimes my head's in the clouds. Well, some of us have got more important things to think about on the ground. You're right. Um, and by way of an apology, how about I buy you a coffee? Why would I want to have a coffee with you? I don't know, but um, there's a cafe just there. It seems like fate's trying to tell us something. Sarah, there you are. Um, Mum says she wants a word with you. The only it's like families. Mum, why? Well, I don't know, but she said it's important. Is she at the house? Yeah, at the house. Look, Sarah, come on, she's not kidding. You OK? No, in fact, we're both going to be in big trouble if you don't come with me now, so just come on. Don't grab no, me. No, come on. Monster emerges from its lair. <laughs> you look rough, mate. Oh. You know what? It must be my medication because I have never felt like this before. Because mm. it's nothing to do with that bottle of scotch you down last night. <sighs> it? Well, it looks like it was a good party. It was. I missed it. No, oh, come here. Do you feel guilty? Yeah. Oh. Do you feel like you should be punished? Yes, I do. Oh, good. Because oh. you might have missed your best mate's leaving party, but it do not mean you can't clear up after it, including the toilet. You want right into that one, mate? Bathroom free? Help yourself. Not open! We're not open! Are we expecting the brewery? No. Are you deaf? We're not open! Is there a sign that says cafe? No, there isn't, because we do not serve breakfast. Because we're not oh Surprise! Hi. <laughs> Hi. Mate, you look rough. He came back. Just to say goodbye. He's had a face like a smacked backside since we woke up. Mel, he's been unconscious. Put the kettle on. Oh, no. No, no. You can have coffee when you finish clearing up. He's being punished for missing the party. He's not going to be here that long. Oh, no, mate, I've got all day, so you carry on cleaning and I can wait. There you go, see? You'll do it faster with an audience. I love watching a man clean me. Well, I mean, feel free to chip in with any tips. Well, you missed a bit there. Mm -hmm. And there. Well, look at there, mate. <coughs> we, we didn't... We didn't, um... No, I slept on the sofa. <gasps> Where did I sleep? In your bed, snoring like a trooper. Oh, thank goodness for that. I was so drunk last night, I was sure I'd done something stupid. What, like tell everyone that Sally kissed Kevin? I didn't. Why do you think I slept on the sofa? Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tim. No, I'm grateful that you told me the truth. They've both been lying to my face. I'm never going to drink again. <laughs> yeah, till next time. Right, I'm off to work. In a bit. <clears throat> See ya. I always knew that Sally was too good for me. Well, that's not true. If anything, you're too good for her. <clears throat> oh, I should get off. Well, I feel terrible. Huh? We just caught her talking to that vicar. We don't talk to anybody, all right? Sarah. I can still see him. Like, lying there in the blood. I, I can't stay in here. I need to no, go. No, 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 you're not going anywhere, all right? Where is he? Where is he now? He's... He's gone. We've moved him. Moved him where? Far away from here. No, he's still here. No, he's not. He's at the bottom of the canal, all right? He's sleeping with the supermarket trolleys, so trust me, he will never, ever be found, all right? There's no evidence here. We've cleaned everything up. There's no blood. There's nothing to prove what went on here last night. So you've got nothing to be worried I about. I can't do this! You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is just act like nothing happened. You stay here with her. I'm going to go speak to Nick. Nick, does he know? No, nobody knows anything. I'm sure if you just talk, you understand me. He loves you to bits. Everything's going to be fine. Come on. I don't believe it. Mum. No, Mum, wait. Mum! Sally? Are you all right? Will you stop walking about? You're making me nervous. You killed him. I know. 
What if they find the body? They won't. How can you be sure? They could drain the canal. It could float up to the surface. Anything could happen, and then they're going to come for us. Look, don't think about it. Think about Bethany and Max and Lily. This isn't just about us. It's about them as well. <gasps> we can't do this. We can't do it. What's <laughs> the matter? What happened? It's Callum. Callum? What's he done now? He's been vile, nasty, picking on her. He keeps coming round and hassling her. We have to put a stop to this. We have to go to the police. Yeah, like we've not done that a million times. When is that man going to ever leave us alone? Well, I think we'll be seeing a lot less of him from now on. Really? And why is that? Well, because we made it clear to him that we're not going to let him dictate how we run our lives, that's why. Do you think he'll take any notice? I think he might. I doubt that. Not after everything he's done. Right, well, I tell you what, Mum, if he does come round again, then we will go to the cops, all right? We will, we'll let them sort him out. I honestly don't think he's that stupid. What do you think, Sarah? Yeah. I know what to cheer you up. Why don't you come into town with me, eh? Help me choose some taps. Taps? are very important and very expensive, and I want to make sure I get something really special for my own suite. That sounds like a really good idea. Yeah, yeah, go on, treat yourself. Why aren't you two at work? Well, don't tell Gran, but we fancied a bit of family time. What, we Max at school and Lily at the mind, is it? Oh. Family time. <laughs> no wonder he wants us out of the way. <laughs> She sees right through us. Yeah, there's no fooling you, is the girl? <laughs> Come on. Let's leave them to their wicked ways. We'll see you later. All right. Take your time. I feel like my head is just going to explode. Yeah, I know. Who'd have thought moving a dead body would be so stressful? David! Sarah, she's on the verge of cracking up and Gail's just Please, everywhere. Just calm down, all right? You have to stay calm. But first things first, when he moved Callum. After so many years of friendship, how to spend the last day together? That is an impossible question to answer, Michelle. Well, if anyone can do it, they can. <laughs> Blackpool. Remember when we raced those donkeys on the beach? Mmm, donkey derby. Yeah. Who's tag day was that? Can't remember. <sighs> You were disqualified for cheating. I wasn't cheating. You had a pocket full of sugar lumps. They were for me tea. They were a banned substance. Didn't realise you weren't getting the book till tomorrow. We weren't. Lloyd cancelled our booking. Cost him nearly 200 quid just to spend one extra day with his mate. Oh, really? Yeah, but don't tell Steve. Lloyd will kill me. They really do love each other, don't they? Yeah. If only you love me that much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this in broad daylight. Look, we're just clearing out the garage, yeah, and taking some rubbish to the tip. Not dumping a dead body in the canal, then. Don't do a Sarah on me. Well, how many bricks do you think we're going to need? Well, I don't know. How many bricks does it take to weigh down a drug dealer? Should we Google it? Oh, we got near the kitchen sink. Oh, I hope not. Always oh, pretty attached to his kitchen sink. Just a few bits and bobs. There's some more bags inside. OK, well, let's go fetch them. Oh, are you sure about this? She only moved in a short while ago. Actually, it's quite a, a milestone for Cathy to be moving oh. into her own home. Besides, we've decided to take things slowly. So, are you caught in Ray Yeah, I suppose I am, yes. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. So, what have you got planned for your first date, then? First date? You do know what caught in means, don't you? Oh. I 
can't pull him out by myself. Can you give me a hand? Just go on that side. Hello. Yeah. What, he's been sick again? Well, I don't know, we're kind of busy. It's the school. Hiya, it's David. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, we'll come fetch him now, then. Yeah, well, all right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. What are you putting in his lunch boxes? What? I mean, he's sick again. I don't need this. I mean, I'll come up with a plan. Am I the only one who's trying to fix things? Well, don't help, then. All you seem to do is cause us problems. Dave, are you scaring me now? What, like you weren't scared before? It's fine. Right, we've still got time, so I'll, I'll take the van. I'll pick him up from school. I'll take him to the salon. Leave him with Grand. You stay here, then we'll move the body. I'm not staying here on my own. We need some more Rice Krispies. I'll just go to the shop. Whatever. I'll see you in 20 minutes. a little bit better than the last time I saw you this morning. Not a lot better. You want to talk about it? I've lost Tim. Well, that's a little bit careless. It's all my fault. I doubt that. But I don't know the whole story. I've only got a couple of minutes. Nonsense. You've got as long as you want. Come on inside. I'll put Kettle on. Mm, Go-kart racing. Have it at this place where you can race diggers? No. Yeah. I would love to race a digger with a big scoop on the front. You know, I've always fancied well, well. a crane. Oh, yeah. Like those, those games you get in amusement arcades or mm. a big mechanical claw that picks up presents. Picks up the things, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a real life size oh, version. Life size, yeah. Picking up real cars. <laughs> so, <laughs> mm. you can do that. Oh. Yeah, shame. Oh, I've got it. What? Perfect way for us to spend our last day together. Now, remember the girls' veto list. No gambling, no strippers, no attempts at world records. Well, it ticks all the boxes. OK, what is it? Right, well, you just have to wait and see, my little scales friend. You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> hey! What time do you call this? <laughs> yeah, I had to finish another job first. Where Jason and Tony? Dunno, on the lunch maybe. I've dropped my phone in a bucket of... You don't want to know. <laughs> You're right, I don't want to know. Occupational hazard, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. She did kiss her ex-husband. Exes don't count. Ooh. It's like kissing your grandma. Um, not exactly. <laughs> Excuse me, could you talk about somebody else? Tell him what Anna did. She dropped her in about the kiss and then was kissing Tim on the doorstep this morning. No, Anna wouldn't do that. That's exactly what she did do. That was terrible. And you're going to let her get away with it? If someone tried to steal my cake, you had to smash the face mm. in. You don't know that's what's happened. It does look like that. Yeah, she's never liked me. She's always been jealous of me and Tim. You need to fight for your man. Yeah, you're right. Maybe when we break for lunch. Never mind lunch, now! Catch her when she's not expecting you. Hmm? Kyle's not in the office. We can't just leave. Yeah, we can. This needs sorting. Tim needs to know I'm prepared to fight for him. That's the spirit. Come on, oh. let's go. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're having posh taps and you've got to have posh towels, posh flannels, posh bath mats, Hello again. I'm really sorry. I was a bit mad this morning. I blame Callum. He's forever stirring up trouble. Found her in floods of tears this morning. Really? Is that then? Smash her face in? Yes, and I've made a decision on the taps. Yeah. Oh, good. You all right? Yeah. 
Why don't you take Mum for lunch? You could go to the bistro. Oh, give over. You've had the house to yourselves all morning. I want to go home and put my feet up and have a nice cup of tea. Come on, love, we're going home. Sorry, I dropped the pan. Oh, sorry, sorry, Craig. What, what, what's it you wanted? Egg, chips, and beans, and a mug of tea, please. Yeah, all right, darling. Sit down. I bring it over. I want a word with you. Uh, we can make it a quiet one. My head's banging. Ooh, apparently she was pretty wasted last night. Then what's this about? You know exactly what this is about. I've got free period. Well, keep your head down. It's about to kick no, off. No, I don't know what you're talking about. You have been planning this all along. Planning what? I know you have eyes for my tin. <laughs> have a Ecker's light. See, I told you. So you dropped a bombshell to ruin the party, to lure him into bed. I did no such thing. I saw you kissing and canoodling. I was not kissing and anything. Ladies, please. You stole my man. You want to take a long, hard look at yourself before you come in here shouting the odds. Hey, I didn't do anything wrong. You were kissing another fella. Yeah, well, that was Kevin. It doesn't count. Well, try telling Tim that. Oh, yeah, I bet you had a right nice, cosy little night last night, didn't you? Having a tete-a-tete -tete before you pounced I on him. I did not pounce! You're a cheap tart. Do you know what, lady? If anyone round here is a cheap tart, it's you! Hey! Oh. 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 Max is at Grand's. It's fine. What do we do now? Well, there's nothing we can do today. I'll have to take the bricks out of the van and give it back. We can't just leave him in the garage. You've got no choice. We have to stop Jason from working. And we have to get Gail out of the house. We just need more time. Yeah. Do you, do you want to see the taps I've chosen? Yeah, why not? So they've got them in Italy, haven't they? Yeah. They've got a lovely action. Great water flow, especially the hot one. Very nice. What the...? Hey, be careful. There's an enormous spider in there this morning. No! Coronation Street continues in half an hour.